recording has started. <laughs> so, hello <laughs> again. <laughs> uh, review recommendation, take two. Um, so, what I just wanted to show you is a project that derived from uh, MI, and its goal is essentially to uh, uh, predict reviewers for pull, pull requests based on some features that we analyzed from pull requests using MI. So uh, currently we have a doc to work recommendation and uh, what that is essentially is that it's building a doc to work model on top of the pull request title and body. And the idea is that uh, if a if a person makes a similar uh, pull request in means of uh, the title and body information, he or she should be probably interested in also reviewing the pull request that is similar in title and body that another person made. So, oh. And the uh, review recommender is using an MI for this. So this is this is probably also a, a, a feature of MI, or I should say uh, the advantage of in, in opposite of libraries like PyGitHub or Packet. The MI essentially uh, scans all the repository for information, so, so all pull requests, all issues, and any other edit you want to implement or add, it scans for it and stores it. So uh, the other li libraries also that do that, but they don't aggregate data. You, you, you have to aggregate data by yourself. So uh, we're using MI for this, and essentially, how the reviewer recommender works is that <laughs> I'm sorry, um, there's some, there's probably a, a more issues in, in So we initialize knowledge uh, based on repository we want to uh, recommend reviewers in. Currently, uh, we make knowledge of uh, just one repository, so it's not uh, uh, on the organization level. But in the end goal, we probably want to have a organization knowledge based on uh, contributors in it. So, so so that you have a one contributor in project foo and you have another com contributor in project bar and uh, based on uh, knowledge gathered from all from both uh, repositories you can recommend reviewers uh, in any of the repository and right now it's uh, gathering knowledge from uh, from mi and it's going to acknowledge for repository MI scheduler. So this will probably take uh, some time. So uh, if, if you skip the knowledge gathering, uh, the knowledge is automatically saved. So you have some knowledge, but not the all, not not all. So we can we can still do a recommendation in this case. So initialize the doc2work model and we can make prediction. So I can try, I don't know what, what, what Kebechet uses as a pull request title as for dependency update. I, I, I mean, I, I think it's automatic dependency update, I guess. <laughs> so yeah, th th that's because uh, we we don't have uh, much pull request gathered. But I suppose if I would continue the uh, knowledge initial initialization process, uh, it would probably recommend a, a Kebhub bot as first with uh, the probability ninety nine percent. So and that's because the Kebhub makes 
makes the pull request with with the with the title automatic dependency update etc cetera, etc cetera. so yeah that's that nice um you're aware that uh, the bot cannot review any pull request right so yes, we yes. somehow need to exclude him <laughs> yes of course <laughs> Of course. Uh, and um, why don't you turn that thing into a notebook? Because yes. um, th this seems to be the perfect thing uh, to demo it, um, if you have yeah. a notebook and all the explanation. Exactly. I, I want to turn it into the notebook when we have uh, a, for a, a one model based on vector space model of reviewers. So, and also this would be shown. So, yeah. That, that would be and, um, how do you think um, you can incorporate um, time and changes in 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 team structure and changes in interest? So um, in the past, um, I don't know. You have reviewed all the whatever stuff, and uh, most often, uh, sorry, uh, the other way around, right? Uh, in the past, you have created pull requests to the whatever stuff. And um, now Frito slowly takes over that uh, domain, and now he's creating all the whatever stuff um, pull requests. Is that somehow yeah. reflected? Yeah, this will, this this could be probably done in only one way, and that is uh, um, having a model to be uh, on, you know, to to not be focused on all of the history, but on the last history. So I don't think that it should be really able to do uh, to, to reflect changes in interest because uh, base, I, I think that in Dr. Beck model it's based on neural embeddings and it's quite known that for for neural embeddings you you need uh, quite a lot, lot of data and it for for the for model to to reflect changes of interest, in it should it it would probably just wait until there are enough data to support that. So that would mean that would mean to to retrain the model on 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 latest statistics. But yeah, you should also have a large data for that. So is the recommendation? Sorry, just stop. You were asking something. Oh, no, I was good. Thanks. Okay. So, so, is this a recommendation like, like, is it sending out like, uh, right now, for example, it's saying Dominic and Kebhead. Is it based on number of times someone has reviewed similar kind of pull request? Uh, it's it's based on uh, if if you imagine a pull request being a document. So it's two concepts here. One is words to work. Uh, words to work essentially is just words in vector space. So you, so in 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 words to work model, you could compare that when you have pairs. Uh, I would say uh, man and king. Uh, the words to work model would be able to fill the tuple uh, if if you get if you if you input if you have an input the female and you don't know the second item. The word to work model would be able to tell you that it's queen, and in this example, the doc to work model is is basically the same, but with a document, not with with just one word, but with with whole document. And the, the document is uh, in here currently under, understood as a pull request title and body merged together. So it's comparing, um, I would say, documents of various. Of, of multiple contributors, so pull requests of multi multiple contributors, and it's uh, just a um, and it, and it's calculating on which is on, on which document is the similar to the document you you've just made a pull request. So which pull request is the is the most similar to the pull request you've just made, and based on that pull request, it it gets the author of that pull request. So, yes. Maybe it would be good to, uh, like, exclude outliers, whichever, like, 
whichever pull request has a body of more than triple x size yes like, of course yeah because based on that like this the whole uh, model will get uh, expensive right like query querying of that and putting that to talk to back and doing that yes uh, i think it, it will be probably expensive in either case but <laughs> You would uh, you would avoid having outliers which would have a negative effect on those. Thanks. Cool. Any other questions for Dominic? No. Thank you, Dominic.